What's up guys, I'm Paul's Build, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the game Storyteller, where you are a storyteller. This game's a little bit different in that when you'd normally play along the plot of a story, we make up that plot in this game. So it gives us events that happens and like an end that it wants, but we have to make the story. Okay, so chapter one, let's do the first one, which is love. Okay, so we need to put Adam here. Oh, look at him. Poor little face. He needs some clothes, really. And here, he's gonna die, isn't he? And then we have Eve, he's alone, he meets Eve, falls in love, and then Eve watches him die. Oh, this game is so mean. <laughs> okay, so we made our story, we go back now. Okay, we've done it, cool. So, heartbreak is next. Okay, so for this, we have to make the scene. So we have to put the backgrounds in as well. So let's go, so love, if she's falling in love. The two of them. Oh, look at them. Then I'm assuming it's death. Uh, so, oh, she's heartbroken and then she dies herself. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm getting the hang of this. Ooh, okay. So they're going to fall in love. Uh, he's going to die. Is it just love again? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I need legs like that. That would that would be much better than these legs. God, I need to change my legs. This game is so strange, but I love it. Okay, so heartbreak. So they fall in love. Uh, then he, he dies again. I'm just killing Adam because I I feel so bad for Eve now that I don't want to kill her. I'd rather she just be heartbroken and crying. Now wait, let's go back to love. Maybe she sees him alive, and then we have a revive one. Oh no, okay, okay. No, revive next. He's revived, and then they're in love again. There we go. We've got loads more people now. I love Bernard. Yes, look at that hair. Okay, so a heartbreak's healed. Let's have a wedding. Uh, Edgar and Bernard. Yay, look at that, they look so happy. Then, uh, oh, oh, I don't know if I can kill Bernard. Um, Bernard, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna fix it. Then how do we fix it? Oh, he's gonna fall in love with someone else. Is that- is that it? Well, I don't know if I can give him Isabel. She looks like she might kill him, so let's go with Lenora. Oh, without any deaths. Oh, okay. Let's- let's- let's change this then. I didn't see that bit. <laughs> was that there at the start? Am I just really unobservant? <laughs> oh my goodness, I was just testing these out. Look what happens when you put one of them with someone they don't know. Huh? <laughs> I don't care. Why is that my problem? <laughs> also, she looks much nicer in her grave than she does alive. Um, I don't know what that says. This is what we need. To heal the heartbreak, we need them to be together at the end. There's gotta be a wedding. This is just everyone happy though. This is this is what we want. <laughs> and if we put them with anyone else, they just say, no, I love them. And you know, they're, they're very uh they're very adamant about that. It doesn't work. She gets annoyed. She's a bit scary. <laughs> Lenora cries. She she just gets angry and murderous. Okay, I think I've got it. So Lenora tries to marry Bernard, but is heartbroken because he's like, no, I love Edgar. But then Lenora finds a new love in Isabel. There we go. Let's hope she survives. Rejected by own spouse. Oh, this is getting juicy now. Okay, so who's married now? I feel like Isabel's a bit scary. Let's do Edgar and Lenora, though. Edgar, I do remember that you used to be married to Bernard, and I don't know how I feel about this now. Uh, okay, rejected by own spouse. So then... Edgar gets amnesia, and then marries Isabel. Yes, and then Lenora's like, whoa, we just got married. What are you doing? Okay, I've got this, I've got this. This game is strangely addictive. It's just like, ooh, one more. Everyone rejects Edgar. Oh, well, to be fair, you did cheat on Bernard, so I don't really feel that bad for him. All right, so let's... They mean everyone to be in love then. So you guys need to be in love, so you'll reject Edgar. Um, That's two. Can we kill... If I mean, oh, I don't like doing this, but... He's like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's not gonna- he's not gonna marry the ghost, is he? Oh no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Seriously, these feet! Where do I get them? Ah, uh, I tell you what we need to do, we're gonna have to kill one of these, so they can see that, 
and then remarry them and then have another wedding and everyone's rejected Edgar. There we go. That's what happens when you start marrying other people, Edgar. Let it be a lesson. Surviving spouses. Okay, well, should we have two weddings? Back together again. You know what? No, you you lost your chance, Edgar. You could have been with Bernard from the start. Lenora gets Bernard now, and you're stuck with Isabel, the psychopath. We've got death. Uh, well, we know who we're killing, don't we? Um. Oh, somehow they end up together every time. The love story of this game is Edgar and Bernard. I don't know how it keeps happening. That was exactly how I was going to say it. <laughs> he shocks himself. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. Firstly, he dies. Then, can he get amnesia? And then he sees himself in the mirror. That would shock you, to be fair. <laughs> this game is getting more sadistic as we go on. Okay, the dream couple back together. Uh, Edgar's going to go. Sorry about that. Bernard marries Lenora. And then Bernard dies. Now Lenora's heartbroken. Then we need to revive... Okay, who needs to be heartbroken? Edgar. Edgar needs to be heartbroken. So we need to revive Edgar. And then... Uh, he can just... Can he just see? Bernard's dead. Yeah, we go. Okay, he sees that Bernard's dead. <laughs> wow, okay. That would suck to be revived to only find out your partner died after marrying someone else as well. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this one. I'm fine killing the others, but I don't know about this. Okay, so... They ha they're they they're friends, I'm hoping. I'm hope Put that finger away. Uh, then... Time. Oh, okay, time. The dog's old. The dog sees... Oh, no! Okay, well, we need to fix this. Right, so then we revive Edgar. Um, they see each other again. And then the dog dies. <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, we get a witch and we get snowy. Witch becomes the mirror's favorite. Right, so the mirror doesn't like her. Then she... She witches it up, then, then just, no, she won't drink that. What about the forest? What happens in the forest? Oh, <gasps> okay, I understand. Right, so then she's gonna, oh no, okay, she needs to turn into a witch first. She turns into a witch, she zaps her in the, in the forest, and then she's the favorite? No, that's, <laughs> oh, that's so savage. Okay, how about she, she then... Is that her cooking the frog? Or or is that her getting beautiful from the potion? Yes, okay, now she's beautiful from the potion. That's hilarious. <laughs> I was because I understand. It's because as a witch, she's uglier than the frog. I thought it was just being really mean. Curse is lifted. Right, well, we need a witch. Okay, what about the Oh, oh, okay. Unexpected plot twist. Let's have them kiss. Right, he turns her down. Now, now she turns him into a frog. And then they kiss. Oh, but she won't. She won't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're like arch enemies. <laughs> okay, we can figure this out. Let's start it off with a kiss. Like every good story. She won't kiss him. He won't kiss her because she's ugly. So... She turns him into a frog. This is such a good fairy tale. Now Snowy won't kiss the prince because they're a frog, which is understandable. What if we put them in a forest together? Oh, he explains that he's a prince and she's like, oh, oh, okay then. And now, now she'll turn him back into a prince. There we go. He just needed to explain his side of the story. Tiny, oh, I want Tiny to get a kiss. What does Tiny look like in the mirror? No. Oh, he's short. Look at those little arms. Well, I don't- I, I'm assuming if we just put Tiny and Snowy together, or Tiny and Prince, they're not gonna kiss because he's too small. Which is really mean. Or maybe it's because he has, like, elf ears and is a completely different species. So we need the witch to turn one of them into a frog, I think. So for that, uh, we need them to turn them down. Oh, she's only interested in the prince. So she turns the prince into a frog. Then... 
Again, the frog explains, look, I'm a prince. And then Tiny gets the prince. Yes! Good for Tiny. Ungrateful Maiden and Prince saves Tiny. So for the prince to save Tiny, we need Tiny to be turned. So we need the witch and Tiny. Okay, I think I have it. Okay, so the witch is annoyed at the at the Maiden or Snowy. She She turns Snowy into a frog. Snowy then explains to Tiny that she's a pr she's not a frog, she's a princess. Then Snowy and Tiny kiss, but then she's ungrateful because she won't kiss him again. Okay, this is hard, but I think I've figured it out. So, the witch turns Snowy into a frog, because that's what she likes to do. Poor Snowy. Uh, foreshadowing, it isn't going to end well for Snowy. Then, she tries to kiss Tiny. She turns tiny into a frog. She's on a bit of a rampage at this point. And then in the forest, Snowy says to the prince, look, I'm not a frog. I'm a princess. You can kiss me. But then like cloak and dagger, we switch her for tiny. There we go. And he turns out uh, thinking it's Snowy. He turns tiny back into a human. He's a bit mean. I don't really like the prince. He's a bit too judgy. Oh, here we go. We've got a butler now. Butler's rampage. Okay. What's okay. He gets the gun. Oh, wow. Okay. That really is just a rampage. That was nice and easy. <laughs> the poor, the pitcher just looking down, frowning upon them like, I told you this would happen. They're driving their butlers to the edge. Duke feels relief. Okay. The butler picks up the gun and shoot. The Duke sees the gun is gone. The butler puts back the gun. The Duke is relieved. So if you're so scared of your butler killing you, maybe just be nice. <laughs> All the animals on the wall, like, it didn't help us at all. This one's called Telltale, and it's about tattling on a murderer. <laughs> okay, so the butler, I'm gonna say, kills the, uh, kills the duke, because, you know. And then feels remorse about it. I don't know why, probably deserved it, but, you know, it's probably a bit extreme to get the gun on him, wasn't it? And then he just fesses up to the detective. There we go. <laughs> the detective's so judgy. <laughs> Someone gets arrested. Right, well, I'm assuming the butler had the gun. Shot the duke. Um, the detective spoke to the butler and he was like, Oh no, not me. The butler put back the gun. The detect- Oh wait, then the detective finds the gun. Ah, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one. He f He puts- He takes the gun out, he shoots the duke. He puts the gun back. The detective finds it. Aha! Then he arrests. There we go. He arrests the butler. And all we need to do to switch this up is for the Duchess. Oh, she won't pick up the gun. Oh, that changed everything. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these. The Duchess won't pick up the gun. So he needs to frame her. So he picks it up. He kills the Duke. Uh, will she put it back? No. Uh, the butler puts it back. Uh, the Duchess is in the room with it? Would that help? No, he still finds out it's her. What happens if we put the Duke back in with the detective? <laughs> He's like, all my years of training are wasted. I could just ask the dead. Who who killed you? If only they weren't sleeping. Oh, he's going after... Oh, hold on, hold on. Right. The Duchess won't pick up the gun. But I bet the Duke will. So the butler kills the Duchess. He puts the gun back. The Duke, oh, of course, he loves the gun. He's got all his animals on the wall. So he, he starts rubbing the gun tenderly. Then the detective finds, aha, his fingerprints are on it and he arrests the Duke. But the Duke is actually innocent, just a bit of a weirdo. Haunt, now you're talking. She deserves it, look at her. Okay, in love. Uh, oh, they fight. Oh, okay, okay. He won't do it after a fight, but maybe if he's had wine, maybe then he'll drink. No. What if he's drinking wine and doesn't realize the next one's poison? No? Okay, well, they need to be husband and wife. So that's, that's that. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, of course. She haunts him. Okay, so she has the poison then. <gasps> no! Is that the poison? 
Wait, wait. They, we need to give her a reason. They fight. Oh no, okay. Then he drinks it. No! <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to see that again, right? Look at him. <laughs> oh my God. He says she's haunted by him. I mean, you get what you deserve, Isabel. This game is so good for social relationships between people. Murder of jealousy. Okay, so someone's going to be jealous. It's going to be Isabella, isn't it? So they're married. She's jealous. No, she hasn't got a reason yet. Ah, okay. She wants to marry Edgar. She's annoyed that she can't. So she goes for poison. <gasps> then uh, Lenora drinks the poison. But everyone meets their demise. How about she tries to marry both of them? Does that work? Then she's got a double reason for poison. No. Okay, we need to we need to get the poison ready here. No, we don't want them to fall in love. You're not allowed. You're you're sad, Edgar. Stop it. She killed your wife. Oh, then he drinks it because he's sad. And then she drinks it because she's alone. There we go. Oh, this is very depressing now. <laughs> Chapter seven. We are powering through this book. Four dead. I don't think I've ever read seven chapters in one go in my life of anything. Well, we've got a knight and a baron here. The baron looks evil. I think they are, aren't they? They're, they're supposed to be evil and the knights are like the good guys with a little bit of, of, you know, attractive stubble going on. Will either of them just walk off the edge? No. Oh, the baron looks mean. Oh, oh okay. I think, I think I know the way around this will go. <gasps> the baron pushed him off. We revive him. Will he push the baron off now? Yeah, <laughs> he will. And then we revive the Baron. And then we s rinse and repeat. Oh, we can't do it that many times. Okay, before we revive him, can he push the Baron off? Uh, he can, he scares him off. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, then we need to revive the Knight. Then the Baron will do the same. Oh, wait, I put the wrong way around. The Baron scares the Knight off. Then we revive. Oh, yes. Then we revive the Knight. No, I feel like we revive the Baron at this point and then we, we rinse and repeat. They're just in a perpetual cycle of <laughs> tomfoolery, let's call it. The Queen doesn't look like she wants to be rescued. Right, wedding. She's gonna marry the Baron? Nah, she won't do it. So, he kidnaps her. And then the knight saves her. There we go. The Queen is rescued. And revenge. Oh my goodness. How, how did you get this into three scenes? Okay, so the Baron kidnaps the Queen to start. He's just going to do that anyway. Then the Knight saves her. And she marries the Knight. Oh, there we go. That was easier. Okay, and revenge. Okay. He saves her. And then she kidnaps the Baron. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, the Queen's on it. Then the Baron pushes her off. Then he sits on the throne. Then the knight pushes him off. Oh, no, the knight's too obedient. Right. The queen scares him off. <laughs> uh, then the knight sits on the throne. Oh, begrudgingly. Oh, bless him. He's such a nice guy. Well, we've only got a dog, so I quite like that this is the usurper. The queen's on the throne. The dog kidnaps her. Amazing. The dog sits on the throne. Then does he just let her go? Yeah. He's a good boy, really. And then she sits on... Oh, does she kidnap the dog? And then she, no, oh, she, she won't let him go. <laughs> Look at his little face. That's so mean. Okay, okay. Uh, she can't sit on the throne because the dog has the crown. What, if she kidnaps the dog, why is she? Oh, she, I just put them the wrong way around. Okay, so then she kidnaps the dog and then she's queen again. Oh, but they're not, they're not forgiven. Is she the queen by default? Yeah, she's the queen by default. So we've been wasting a scene there. I just need to move a few bits around. It's because we already had... The, like, I was basically unnecessarily putting that she had the throne at the start. We know that she's the queen. If you just move that around, she's then happy to forgive him when she gets her, her crown back. Bit melodramatic for your own dog, but hey. Suitor. The queen marries. Oh, disguise. What is that? Look? Oh, I love it already. Okay, the queen marries. She won't marry the baron as it is, will she? No, and he'll get annoyed about that. So how about he disguises himself as a dragon? Then he kidnaps her in his disguise. Then he, then he de-disguises, takes it off, frees her. Now she's grateful, they'll marry each other. There we go. See, I could be a baron in my free time. 
I don't want to, but I could. The usurper dies. Okay, so we're going to usurp the queen. That's going to be the baron, isn't it? Um, then he's on the throne. Usurped. Then... Oh, we can't execute him. We need the, the knight saga. I don't know. That's not me. We need the knight to... Oh, the knight needs to free the queen. Then the queen needs to take her throne back. Oh, but she's got it. He's got it. Right. Well, this isn't good. The queen needs to kidnap the baron, put her crown back on, and then execute the baron. There we go. <laughs> it's head in a basket. By the hand of the knight. Oh, why do they make this so hard? Okay. Uh, right. In that case, the knight arrests. The knight wouldn't take it. Nah, she just gives him a thumbs up. And you can't have more than one. She wants to pull the the, the trigger on it. Oh, no one's allowed to execute unless she's... Oh, so we need the knight to be king, really, don't we? But he won't take it if she's alive. Oh, no. I've just realized what we have to do. <laughs> okay. So the baron... The Baron takes the throne. Then the Baron executes the Queen. The Knight kidnaps the Baron. Uh, he assumes the throne begrudgingly. And he executes the Baron. There we go. Oh, thumbs down indeed. No, I like the Knight. Why? Well, he's going to do something bad, isn't he? Knight loses his head. Right, he's going to kidnap the Queen. No, <laughs> she's like, don't worry, I would kidnap you. <laughs> okay, was the queen die? Uh, oh, here we go. Then the knight becomes king. Then the queen comes back to life. And then she kidnaps the knight because he's taken her thing, uh, her throne, and then she kills him. No? Oh, she needs her throne back. Right. She becomes queen again. She's not as nice as the knight. She'll have to cut his head off. <laughs> Thumbs down to the knight. The execution, right. So she won't... So she's never going to marry the baron. So the baron kidnaps her. Then does she have am amnesia? Then the baron saves her. Then she marries him. Then now he's king. Can he just straight up execute her? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, of the queen or of the baron. Oh, well, either way. Oh, no. She likes him. Oh, I tell you what. Give her amnesia, then she'll probably do it. No, she still likes him. Okay, if we take out her amnesia, then she's just annoyed at him. So now she's... We just He just frees her. Oh, he's, never, he's not going to. Right, he needs amnesia. And then he's like, oh, wait, let me free you. And she's like, oh, thanks. That's uh, very kind of you. <laughs> Immediately executes him. <laughs> what have we got here? What have we got here? Right, well... The queen needs to die, which means she needs to be on the edge. Otherwise, she's never going to kill the knight because the knight needs to take to the throne. If she gets killed by the baron, then the baron would be on the throne. She doesn't... Re yeah, no, she needs a reason. Uh, okay, well, she would be revived. But then she could just execute the baron, couldn't she? Oh, she hasn't got her throne. She needs to take a crown back. Then she'd execute the baron. That would get the Baron gone. However, she's never going to kill the knight. Okay, so if the Baron kills the knight, the knight has a grudge. So then he will kill the Baron if he can. Is that grounds for her to execute the Baron if she finds out? No, she doesn't know. How about if he tells her? No, it just scares her. Okay, he won't tell her. Right, she kills... I mean, she kills the knight, though. That's I don't know if that's right. Then she gets her throne back and then she'll execute the Baron. But she's not beheaded the knight. She just pushed him off a cliff. That's the only thing he does that gets her annoyed at him is taking her throne. Oh, well, that was an unexpected treasure. They can get married. Okay, well, this could work then. They get married. They're both in power now. So that gives her a reason to kill both of them without this. Oh, no, she needs to die. Otherwise, they're just a bit like, yeah, I mean, I really love the queen. And he's like, I really love the crown. So yeah, I'm not really that interested. Okay, this could be a way around. The queen needs to go. With That has been established. If the knight takes the throne, they can both become king. Then when the queen is revived, she'll be annoyed. But how does she get her throne back? What if we revive the queen? 
We let them marry. She's a bit annoyed still. But then she'll have the power to execute. Will she execute her husband? She will! Oh, we go. There we go. We got there in the end. Oh, these are my favorite ones. The detective, like the, the murder detective ones. Right, murderer gets ar arrested. So we need the butler there. He's going to kill the duke. The detective witnessed it. And then, can he arrest that? Ah, no, the witness comes first. He's looking through, oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, see, I knew that that picture was watching them. Ooh, okay. Well, he's gonna steal the gun, isn't he? So we need a witness. He's spying on his staff, which is a bit weird. I see why they wanna shoot him. And then, well, if he confronts him. Ah, he sees him in the ballroom with the gun. Then he puts the gun back, because otherwise he's just gonna shoot him. Then he fires him. Yeah, fired. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. So spouse is the Duchess here. She loves the Duke. So we need so we need her to be witnessing this event. But she won't touch the gun, will she? No, we need the Duke to be witnessing this. Then the butler picks up the gun, shoots the Duchess, which the Duke sees. He then puts the gun back, like, I didn't do anything. The Duke picks it up, like, yeah, you did. And he shoots him in the face. Or the the where is that? Kind of the lower stomach area? Is that a good place? I don't know if that's the best place to do it. Duchess gets murderer arrested. Right, here we go. Uh, the murderer is gonna, so she needs to witness this. She witnesses the butler take the gun and shoot the duke. And then she's gonna talk to the detective about it. And the detective's gonna, yeah, there you go. He arrests the butler, but the duke isn't home. Ooh. That's more spicy. So she can't kill the Duke. She has to kill, he has to kill, oh, he won't kill the detective. She witnesses him take the gun and go on the ballroom with the gun. Then she tells the detective. Then the butler shoots her. Then the detective arrests the butler. There we go. There we go. Well, I mean, she did help, but she still got murdered. So is that good? Kind of a win. And I think we're going to leave that there for today. If you're interested, check out Storyteller on Steam. It was a lot of fun to play. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you in the next one.